Uh, Steve, congratulations on the win. Um, three in a row now, and I think that's the biggest smile I've seen on your face coming off the pitch this season. Yeah, well, we've had a run of draws. Um, people were, not not internally and the fans and that, but the outside people were probably questioning us whether we were that good. Um, I'm not saying we had a finished article, but I keep saying and maintain I've got a fit, strong side in there. Um, and after the back of them run of draws, you know, I asked them when, before we played Met Police at training on the Thursday, we need four wins out of four. Um, 12 points will get us back in amongst it and people will start worrying about that sort of thing. Getting to the nitty gritty side of the season now and the boys, the Met Police was called off and they've gone to give three fantastic performances against three sides. Leverhead were on a great run of form, Farnborough and Staines fighting for their life sort of thing. And we know how that feels because last year we was up against it a lot and we're going out and giving our all and we was getting beat. But we kept coming back and coming back and that's what these teams do. You've got 11 players out there that are trying to give their all and at the end of it, like I say, nine points out of nine is, is what we wanted. I did say um, after that run of draws, as all the other teams have done, once you get that first win, can you build on it? And the players, to their credit, they've built on it on the last last two, so that's three out of three. We go to Grays and then Kingston, the next two away games, which are unbelievably tough. But we go there with good spirits, you know? Mm. And, and you're right, we said in your programme, most teams did give their all. It's a question of, of when the goal stroke goals were going to come. Did well, you worry they wouldn't? Well, we watched them prior, prior to, to today, you know, and, and we know about them. But the new manager coming on Thursday, there was four new players out there today. The other players are going to give their all because they want to sign for this manager, who's, who's a very experienced manager. And by putting themselves in the shop window by doing well today against a team that are doing okay at the top of the league, it, it holds them in good stead. But I thought the players just told me patient. The word I put on the ball today was patience. You know, I said it last week, and we wasn't. We was a bit erratic. Um, eventually got the win. But today I said just got to grind them down and we've got a helping hand, you know what I mean, so to speak, with the, the header. Um, I couldn't see from where I was whether it was handball, but if the ref said it is, he's got to be sent off. Um, kind of no arguments for that. Um, but the pleasing thing was against 10 men, we used the width, we used the ball. It wasn't a case, it was nil-nil, we were smashing it forward because we missed the penalty. Um, Nathan just said to me in there that he changed his mind at the last minute. So... Like I say, we kept going and uh, the patience was there where we kept using the width and kept getting balls in the box and two of the goals, got to be honest, can't wait to see them again from Trev's great uh, videoing because I thought they were fantastic. The movement, the, the link-up play um, and, and thoroughly deserved three points. Talk about inspired substitutions, it wasn't just the goal scorer, all three of your subs involved in, in the move for the first goal. Again, I said to him, I had a meeting with the chairman on Thursday. Um, I've seen other teams in and around us bringing players in left, right and centre. So it's making their squads bigger, whether they've got injuries or not, I'm not sure. But at the minute I've got a fully fit 16 there, um, and I want to keep that together because there's, there's no point in me changing it and having two of the regulars that have been with me for this six months of the season sitting in the stands because I think that's unfair. You know, They've earned the right to be in this position and they deserve to follow it through. And that ain't the case of me going to get new players in because I think we've got a good, good honest bunch of lads, a good fit bunch of lads, and I don't want to upset the apple cup by bringing people in for the sake of bringing them in. So at the minute, and a message to the fans, this is what we've got. Um, obviously, I've got Bradley on loan and I've got uh, Ben on loan. We've discussed that near the time when they're up. Um, but I'm happy with what I've got. And I don't want to just bring and have an 18, 19 man squad for the sake of it if the chairman gives me more money with, with regulars sitting in the bench. Because the ones you bring in, you're expected to play them. Otherwise, you don't bring them in, um, whether it's loan or permanent. So... I toyed with the idea last week of trying to add to it and like I say on Thursday after having a chat with Steve and putting my thoughts to him, um, I don't think I need to change it at, at this moment and, and I don't think I will need to change it barring touch wood any injuries and uh, like I say they're doing wonders at the minute and they have done all season, it's not just about because we won three games on a spin, the team have been fantastic, you know, the, the work ethic, their, their, their quality at times um, but got bear in mind it's non-league so there is going to be some scrappy, scrappy parts of the game. But sometimes when you open them up like we did for Nick Wheeler's first goal, you know, the communication, the balls, the time of the run, it's fantastic. And sometimes you can't coach that. That's come off the cuff, you know. We give them the idea of how we want them to play and what options they've got, but they do that themselves out there and it's a credit to them. Jack Parter played right back last three games, hasn't he? Obviously, yep. you won the ball and I thought he was particularly good today. Yeah. Um, he's got a good choice to pull back at the moment, hasn't he? Yeah, well, the thing is, it was it was forced upon us like it was before when Jack had his hamstring and bought Sam Rensing. Uh, James Folks had a sciatic problem in his back. So he obviously had to sit out for a few weeks and he's got himself back fit now, so he's okay to go. Ben's come in and he's done really well, you know, and with Jack going to right back, he, he, he used to play right back, but he prefers left back, 
you know, and like I say, the, the players will get their chance, the ones on the bench, like today, Lawrence Ball played Saturday and done really well, but I, I felt it was right to bring Sonny in today, considering the players we was up against, and Sonny done magnificent, so as long as everyone buys into what we're trying to do, and it, I don't have sulking, and there is no sulking in that change room, they're all together, you know, it, it'll work well. Mm. Um, Nathan, obviously, we disappointed to risk penalty, but there is some good news about Nathan. Yeah, he's um, agreed to sign for the rest of this year and next year. Well, he's already on contract this year, but extend it for this year and next year, um, which is pleasing, you know. So, again, it's thanks to the board for allowing me to do this um, and, and build on what we want to do for next year, regardless what happens this season, you know. Because I'm not running away with myself thinking we're going to make the playoffs, win the league or anything like that. We've done better than what we did last year, and that was the main aim at the start of the season. Regardless what players we bought in, it was to do better than last year, and we've done that. And obviously next year it'll be even more of a push on to do better than what we've done this year. And that's part and parcel of football. You always want to better what you've done the previous year. And this year we've done better, but I've got a hungry group of players in there that want to push on and do even more. And who knows where it'll take us come, come the end of April. Because I think this season you've got a lot of the squad already signed up for next season. Was the last two years you started the summer. Yeah, I've had, I've, signed exactly. Up. I've had to try and... Uh, First year I was here, I think I had John Heath left, you know, I've had to bring loads of players in. Then last year, um, this season, sorry, I brought five or six in, and I thought it'd take time to gel, especially after a win, a draw, and a loss. You're thinking, and my, my, quest, my questions that were, are they gelling? Well, you've got to give them time, and then they had a good run. You know, we had a run of draws, but we, we've got back to winning ways now. And who, who, who knows, if we can carry on winning, it'd be great. If we don't, we just pick ourselves up and go again. That's, that's, just, that's the type of players I've got in that changing room. 100 games in charge today, so you've won numbers 98, 99 and 100, lovely way to, uh, to, to reach the century. I just feel privileged, I, I feel privileged to be at the club, to be honest, you know, they took a chance on me. I'd only been um, assistant at Sutton and coach at Sutton and they gave me a chance, like what I, what I wanted to bring to the club. Um, and I think the club's going in the right direction, whether it's me in charge or someone else in charge. The club's on a good sound footing um, and hopefully it can push on and be... Better than what it is. It's already fantastic, but if it can be better than what it is, you know, the club, the club will be fantastic. Final question on the forum: We've been debating what was the best of those 100 games. Which one has given us the most pleasure? What about you? I'd, I'd have to say because it was my first first job, um, the local derby against Maidstone, which we won one 0 in the last minute. Whether we deserved it or they deserved it, a bit of a scrappy game as I remember. But to get that going, and it wasn't for for the three points. That's great. It was more to see the elation of the fans. Um, because like I keep saying, we're, we're really, as Tom Bridge Angels, we're really probably six in the Kent, Kent aspect of clubs with your Dartfords and Margates and Maystones and stuff. Um, and, and to get a win, the fans were, were loved it. They absolutely loved it. And I thought, you know, that's, that's for them. You know, it weren't for the players, for me, because the game's a game. But, you know, I, I saw the elation on their faces after that. And like I said, that's got to probably stick in my memory as the best, best game. Hmm. That's what we all said as well, Steve. Thanks for watching, Thank you.